All right, up next, I am going to crack open the Keller's Keep Quest Pack for the new edition of Hero Quest. This is something that the that I own for the original Hero Quest. It was the only expansion pack I ever bought, and what I remember of it is having a bunch of the same miniatures that were already in there, some cardboard counters, and not enough new quests. We'll see if that's still true of the new one. Though I gotta say, it wasn't terrible. It was more Hero Quest. There's nothing wrong with more Hero Quest. I just expected more. So we're gonna crack this open and see if maybe we get a little bit more in the new edition of Keller's Keep than we did in the original. All right, so here we have the new edition of Keller's Keep, a quest pack. It does require you to own the original Hero Quest. Sorry, not the original, the new printing of Hero Quest. Similar to the main game, this comes with uh, no shrink wrap, but plastic tape. Well, not tape, but sealing things, which I am just going to cut open. Then, we'll flip that over, take a look at what we get in the box for Keller's Keep. As expected, we have a new quest book. This looks significant. This is thick. This has got some meat to it. We now have an alchemist shop being added to the game, including new stuff. We have the new components for Keller's Keep, and it shows what they different look like. So now there's an iron entrance door and a wooden exit door, so we're going to have some new scenery. Giant boulders, we got another punch card, there's a cliff. We've got a message from Mentor. I don't know who Mentor is, how to play through Colors Keep. And then, well, we don't want to spoil anything. So starting the first quest is on page one. And we're gonna go to the end and see how many we got. We're looking at 10 new quests. So we have 10, a 10 chapter quest for Hero Quest here as well as a conclusion and new artifacts. So we have a new punch board. Oh, a folded over punch board. Interestingly one-sided. That's an odd design choice compared to the original. So we have a one-sided quest board, including new walls. I'm so kind of surprised they didn't use the art from the other one. We've got some kind of magic grasping hands. We've got a destroyed artifact thing over here. Oh, which is gonna break apart. So you're going to collect different pieces of an artifact to assemble something. Spoiler. Uh, we've got some kind of fire pit here. Some trap doors. A statue. I'm going to say having a statue and not having a 3D statue is a little lame. Um, just like the original game, this is rather thin punch board. I usually expect a little bit better from my games, my board games. But you know what? It's not paper thin. I have felt worse. So the majority of this box, I, uh, these obviously slid around. Should be over here. The majority of this box is miniatures, which unfortunately is the same problem of the original game. We are looking at all the exact same sculpts that we got with the original game, just more of them. Which is cool, like, hey, we get more orcs and we get more stuff, but it's I wish they had done different sculpts. So we have our new door, which is a door, and we have our new exit door, which <laughs> there's an homage to something old school D&D in my opinion. Um... What you have here is, I'm just going to hold the miniatures up so you can kind of see them. You have some goblins up there, up in here. We've got some female orcs over there. We got some badass looking male orcs here and here. Sorry. There and there. And then down here we have the new, I can't remember what they call them. They used to be the Femir in the old game. And then a badass looking woman orc over here. So a whole bunch more orcs, goblins, and Femir. Two doorways some punch boards, and some new cards. Let's quickly take a look at what we get for the new cards. So what we have is new equipment, which would get mixed in with the rest of the equipment, new artifacts, which would be for this specific campaign, and that's it. Now, what I am not seeing anywhere is anything to indicate that these are from an expansion. So it looks like once you put these in with your game, except for looking them up by name, you are not going to be able to quickly go through your deck and pull it out. Though from what I remember of this, there's no reason you would want to. So we have four new potions, which fits that alchemy shop. And we have a bunch of artifacts, again, featuring the same line art style. There's a bunch of spell scrolls. Okay, so there's really two new artifacts and a bunch of spell scrolls. So that's it. That is what you get in the box for the Colors Keep expansion from Hero Quest which lives up to pretty much what the original Keller's Keep expansion did from Hero Quest, which is give you more of the same miniatures, but a whole new quest. 
And there you have it. Um, this I don't expect to fit in the base box since this is normally a standalone expansion. So Keller's Keep looks pretty cool. More of the same, right? More of the same minis. You do get two new doors. You do get 10 new scenarios. You do get a punch board with all kinds of interesting things that would come up in that scenario. What I'm a little disappointed is that they didn't feature new sculpts for the miniatures in here. I was really hoping to have, you know, at least two more orc sculpts, two more goblin sculpts, but that is not the case. But still, more Hero Quest is still Hero Quest, which is awesome. 